In this video, I'm going to explain how to connect a local large language model to a Telegram bot so you can have access to it from everywhere. Okay, so in my previous video tutorial, I explained how LM Studio works and how you can download a free open source model and then run it on your own machine. So if you don't know how to do it, you need to check my previous tutorial. I will put a link to it in the description. But as you can see here, I was just testing uh, the bloke, Tiny Llama. And uh, here you can see my chat with it. But if you want to make a server and then connect it to a Telegram bot, you need to go to this local server tab. And then from here, you need to start a server. So right now, I started a server which supports the tiny llama uh, with 1 billion parameters. I'm just using a small model so it doesn't use up a lot of RAM and CPU on my computer. As you can see, it uses around 738 megabytes of RAM. And uh, now it is ready to serve. So I wrote a very small script here that you can use for connecting the LM Studio to a Telegram bot. So as you can see, I just added the API endpoint here. And then uh, we also need to add the token of the Telegram bot. And uh, then the rest of the code is pretty simple. You just send a message. And then based on your input, the user input, the model will process your request. And uh, for the instruction, you can put anything that you want. I just wrote below is an instruction that describes a task, write a response that appropriately completes the request. Okay, so to make the bot work, uh, we need to create a Python environment so that we can run this code. There are different ways to make a Python environment, but my favorite way is to use Anaconda Navigator. Okay, so let me run Anaconda Navigator. It's here in my applications. It's pretty easy to download and install. If you don't have it, you can just download it from its website. I will put a link to the download website of this amazing software in the description. So if you don't have it, you can just download it and install it. So let's create a Python environment. I have some Python environments here, but I want to create a new one and I'm going to call it LM Studio Bot. And I'm going to use Python version 3.9 and then create. It will take some time to make the Python environment, but once it is ready, you can use it. So you can just run it from here in the terminal. So as you can see, it is now activated and I can uh, run whatever code that I want using this Python environment. There is one package that you need to install and it's Telebot because we're going to use Telebot for our Telegram bot. So just run pip three install Telebot. and then run it. Okay, so once it is installed, now we can go to the folder that I have my Python scripts. So it's my, so it's in my documents, bots, and then, and then LM Studio bot. Okay, so this lmbot.py is the Python file that I have with this script. But before running the script, I need to put my Telegram token here. So in order to make a Telegram bot, you need to send a message to botfather. So just type botfather here. And then here you write start. Okay, 
you can see here that by just clicking on new bot you can create a new bot let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it better how are we going to call it please choose a name we're going to call it lm studio bot 38 now let's choose a username it must end in bot okay lm studio 38 underline bot okay okay now here i have the api uh, token uh, so you just need to copy this by just clicking on it you will copy it and then what you need to do is to paste it here okay and then save this file now it's ready to run so i'm just here in my terminal and i run python and then lm underline bot.py okay so i think the bot is running now and we can test it here you can just click on the link of the bot and then open it and then click on start and as you can see here it just sent the start as a command uh, to to my code this is because i didn't uh, provide any start message so it just sent it to to my model but um if i write something here like i say um tell me some facts about earth it will start to generate as you can see uh, here is the output and then it just sent it through the api token to our bot earth is made of four main elements water air fire and earth okay if you want to fix this problem here you can just create a start message so when you run start for the first time it doesn't send it to the large language model it's pretty easy by just adding this piece of code you can fix that problem so let's stop the bot and start it again and uh, okay let me save this before running it again okay now i'm going to run it again and uh, let's start it again and see what happens okay so as you can see because i added the start message here it says welcome to the bot and from now on whatever we ask it will send it to the large language model so let's ask another thing what is the color of sky as you can see here it is generating the answer and then it sends it here and actually this is not local anymore so you can just open this bot from your phone anywhere you are and then use this server as long as you're running this and also you have this python code running here the bot will work from anywhere okay so that's about it i will put this code in gitlab so you can have access to it and you can use it yourself of course i will remove the token so you need to paste your own token the token of your own bot so you can use it Hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.